Hi, I'm Bryce Kish. And I'm Brian Hoofler. And this week on Point Counterpoint, we're discussing assisted suicide. I think that if somebody wants an assisted suicide, it's their choice. Bryce, can you imagine what would have happened if Helen Keller had gotten an assisted suicide? Yes, Brian. Wouldn't we all like to be as strong as Helen Keller? Unfortunately, some people just aren't that strong, and I think assisted suicide is a necessary way for people who aren't that strong. We all have the ability to be as strong as Helen Keller, Bryce. It just takes the willpower. Regardless, of, regardless if someone does or doesn't have the strength, it's still their right to do it if they want to. Terminally ill patients sometimes have a hard time, you know, retaining the will to live. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, su suicide is not the right option. I agree in that suicide wouldn't be my choice. But if somebody wants to have a suicide, it's their option and their right. It's their life. But doesn't physician-assisted suicide go against the Hippocratic Oath? I'm not really familiar with the Hippocratic Oath, but I imagine it's based more on helping your patient, and if that includes assisted, assisting them in suicide, well, that's their duty as a doctor then. The Hippocratic Oath does say, Bryce, that a physician will never do harm to anyone for anyone else's interest. You say never do deliberate harm for anyone else's interest, but what if it's for the patient's own interest? I imagine the entire Hippocratic Oath is a rather gray area on the subject of uh, euthanasia. The Hippocratic Oath also says the physician will not violate the morals of their community. Doesn't assisted suicide violate the morals of most communities today? I imagine it would depend mostly on the morals of that community. And while in most places it is illegal, I imagine what some people think is moral would vary from place to place. Morals aside, Bryce, Oregon is the only state that allows assisted suicide. So obviously 49 states agree with me.